Hello everybody, this is Anthony. This is just a few of my planes. Today we're going to be talking about a um, slick from Pilot. This has the uh, auto starter on it. And um, I'm not completely finished with everything. But as you can see, it has the uh, auto starter. And uh, the gears are just lightly greased. Not a whole bunch of excess grease. And then um, down here is where I think everybody gets confused on how to set it up. So you have the wires from here going from here to your starter. And the wires over here going from here out to a relay to, to your battery. We're going from, from there to the battery. And I just got it kind of thrown in right now on the battery and I just extended the wires a little bit and then they give you another wire that comes off of here as you can see right here and this wire goes to your receiver and what that allows you to do is to uh, wire from here to the starter from here to the battery but but this box keeps the power from going unless it's turned on by the receiver and that's how you get it to start so this is going to be a first start i haven't connected the choke up yet so i'm going to do it manually and then what you do is you uh go to your controller you always want to cut the controller on first And uh, once the controller is on, you go back to your plane and you cut your plane on. And now the plane is on and you can see the plane is on by the light here, right? And so once your plane is on and all you wanna do now, <clears throat> you wanna come back to your controller right here. And I have it on my top switch here and I just click it and then I cut it off <clears throat> then I go back to the plane and I'm going to have this choke put onto a, um, a servo but you open the choke wide open <clears throat> and you come back over to your <clears throat> controller and it should planes I got to take care of and uh, so that's how you that's how you um, work the EME 35 now let me tell you a little bit about this EME 35 let me shut this door because it's too loud So I'm gonna let that run for about an hour and then um, once it runs out of gas or hour until it runs out of gas it probably will it'll probably go for about an hour 
I fill it all the way up to the top and there's going to be a two hour break in period. And then after an hour, I'm going to go try to fine tune it. And um, I just bought this uh, engine and started from Mile High RC. And I installed, I took a uh, GP38 off of the plane and put that starter on the plane because I really like my fingers. And um, as you can see, I don't have any room that I got a hand prop. <laughs> uh, it's all either electric or gas with a starter on it. I got a Hangar 9 Carter and Extra 300 with a starter on it also. So all you do is, like I said, you have two sets of uh, plugs on the relay that comes with it or that you buy separately for $30. And on the ones on the right side, you hook that directly up to your motor. And the ones on the left side, you hook that up to your battery. And then you have a switch a cable that plugs into your receiver. And I put it on auxiliary one. And while it's on auxiliary one, I um, put auxiliary one on the, uh, the A switch. And the A switch allows me to uh, just press the button and start the plane. And it'll run forever. Uh, or until it runs out of gas but um, it was a pretty simple uh, thing to do but what I do have to do is now once I break the motor in and I gotta go back and put the battery where it goes recheck the um, uh, center of gravity on the plane make all the wires look neat and pretty and all that kind of stuff so I got some cosmetic stuff to do but as far as the engine running everything is finished thing I did forget to say is I did put the uh, red line oil in there and uh, I put um, a 25 to 1 mixture so uh, this is a red line uh, two-stroke racing oil that I mixed with the gasoline and I am using non-ethanol gasoline and um, that will give me the best uh, bang for my buck thanks for watching